Okay, so this is a retail story, a story of Raven, a trickster tale from the Pacific Northwest, written by Gerald McDermott. And I want to be culturally sensitive. The um, items that I'm using for my story are not culturally appropriate. They're just items that I found around the house that I'm going to use to retell this story. So, I found some um, pebbles around, around my house that I'm going to use to um, circle some of the lakes and some large rocks that I'm going to use for the mountains that Raven um, flies over. I have my Bentwood box here um, that I'm going to use and my sun is not very spherical. It's a yellow dice that's going to be going in the Bentwood box. I found these little um, felt um, bags that I had lying around and I think they will be great to represent some lakes. Um, my longhouse um, will be made out of some Jenga blocks and some blocks that I had. The tree that Raven sits in is going to be some Duplo. The elders that come to visit are just going to be these different size blockses. Sorry, different size blocks. Raven is going to be um, a little clip. It's the best I could do. Um, kind of looks Ravenish in a way. <laughs> um, when he transforms, he's going to transform into a pine needle, which I'm going to pull off here. And these will also work as trees. And then when he transforms into a boy, he will be this little Lego character here. Um, my Sky Chief will be represented by this Duplo character, and the Sky Chief's daughter will be represented by this um, Duplo character. And I think that those are all the props that I need to retell the story. In the beginning, the world was in darkness. People lived in the dark and the cold. Raven didn't like this and set out to find light and warmth. While circling high above the forests and the lakes and the rivers, Raven spies a light in the distance and flies towards it. Caw, caw, caw. As Raven flies closer and closer to the light coming from the Sky Chief's house, he finds a large pine tree to rest and watch. A little while later, he sees the daughter of the Sky Chief emerge from the house and move down to the water to drink. This gives Raven an idea. Raven transforms himself into a pine needle that drifts down into the water. The Sky Chief's daughter then uses a bowl to scoop up some water and swallows the pine needle. Sometime later, the Sky Chief's daughter gives birth to a baby boy that looks suspiciously like Raven. The Sky Chief loves his new grandson. And he invites the elders round to witness this remarkable new child. They like to see the new baby play and have fun. As the, as the new baby is entertaining the elders, he spies a light coming from a small, beautifully painted and carved bentwood box in the corner of the longhouse. Raven's inquisitive and he wants to know what's inside it. So he starts to show the Sky Chief and the Sky Chief's daughter, 
that he's interested in the box by moving towards it. Of course, the elders think this is funny and they like to see him show interest in the Bentwood box. And of course, as the Sky Chief wants to give Raven or the, the child everything that he wants, he agrees to show Raven what's inside the box. So the Sky Chief's daughter moves over to the box and opens up the contents. Inside, Raven sees a beautiful light coming out. A warm, golden glow. Raven wants to see what's inside. So, the Sky Chief's daughter pulls out a glowing, yellow, warm sphere of light for Raven to play with. Raven likes this and plays with it on the floor of the longhouse and the elders watch with delight. Everyone seems enamored with the new baby and his fascination with the glowing sphere. At this point, Raven wonders if this is the sun. So, in typical Raven trickster fashion, Raven transforms back into a Raven. This time, with the glowing orb in his mouth. And he flies off out through the top of the longhouse. With the sun in his beak, he disappeared into the dark sky. That night, Raven flew through the mountains, whoosh, over the lakes, whoosh, and through the sun, high up into the night sky. And this is how Raven gave light to the world.